it's time to use the airbag remote and check out the axle load monitoring system. Vehicles fitted with rear air suspension are equipped with electronically controlled air suspension or ECAS. A remote control is provided to operate the suspension system. The remote control can only be used if the vehicle is travelling at or below 25 kilometres an hour. The extended remote control has truck controls on the top row, trailer controls on the second row, raise, lower and stop. If adjusting the height, removing your finger from raise or lower will also stop the movement. Four memory settings and return to ride height. There is an alternate return to ride height override button on the dash that will automatically return the truck to drive level without the need to activate the remote. If you're adjusting the suspension of the truck, the middle top button turns the system on and you can raise or lower as needed. The memory settings can be programmed to suit the driver. Let's set a couple that we may need. I'm going to program the M1 button and I want the fully lowered position. I adjust the chassis to the level I want, then press and hold the stop button at the same time as I select M1 and the level's now set. The other one I find really useful is full chassis lift. Again, adjust to the required height, then hold down the stop button and this time select M2. These settings are now saved and I only need to activate the remote and trigger the memory button to adjust to the new heights. If fitted to your truck, the axle load monitoring system is used to show the actual axle loads. Using the steering wheel switches, the individual load weights can be activated and shown on the digital display. The axle load is only shown when the ignition is switched on, the vehicle is stationary and at normal height. If smart trailers are connected and have electronic braking systems and air suspension that supports axle load monitoring, a maximum of four trailers can be shown. Calibrating the axle load monitoring system is nice and easy and done in the cab using the extended remote. In the menu, scroll down until you find the setting for axle load. Select and it will go to the right hand side of the screen ready for calibration. To activate the calibration, activate the lift trailing axle button. Holding down the stop button 5 seconds will open up the calibration. The lights will flash to indicate calibration is open. To change the values on the steer axle, hit the top left button and then adjust using the up and down arrows. Once the desired setting is met, M1 and stop saves the value. The top middle button will adjust the mid intermediate axle and the top right button will adjust the rear axle. Again, select the axle, change the values and save. To exit the calibration mode, simply hold down the stop button for 5 seconds and it will be switched off. And that's it. For more information, take a look at daft.com.au or head into your local Packard dealership.